I'm going to get this out of the way right at the start. You probably shouldn't listen to anything that I have to say on this topic because I don't have many friends. And the friends that I do have, I don't like do friend stuff with them very often. Whatever that is. Whatever people do with their friends. Like, uh, wait, what, what do people do with their friends? I don't even know. H hang on. Thrift store adventure. Oh man, that actually sounds kind of fun. Like, uh, go to a thrift store and, and have an adventure. Maybe play Dungeons and Dragons or something in the thrift store. Oh, oh, and, and you could dress up like your character using only the thrift store stuff. <laughs> I'm a fourth level ranger and I wear a sweater with a picture of a wolf on it. And I have a belt that's actually a yoga strap, but it has my herbalism pouch attached to it. It's actually an empty shaving kit pouch that smells like aftershave bob. <laughs> Think of the adventures you could have. Um... Yeah, I, I don't have any friends that will do that with me. <laughs> Dress up and go to local art museums. Dress up. Like as a ranger in a wolf sweater with a shaving cap pouch? Oh, we already did that. And art museums are the worst. I always get kicked out for talking too loud or accidentally sneezing on the art. Attend a conference. Are you serious? A conference. If I had a friend and then they said to me, Oh, hey, TechTweed, my good friend, uh, let's have some fun and go to a conference. I I'd throw a gummy bear at their face and that would be the end of that friendship. I'll tell you that much. Like, the friends don't do this stuff, do they? Cooking together? Botanical gardens? Man, maybe it's a good thing. I don't have many friends. I'd be at the freaking b botanical gardens all the time. <laughs> no, thank you. But here's the thing. Sometimes we get lonely. Well, you do, probably. Not me. I certainly never feel like I'm alone in a world that doesn't want to give me the time of day, much less listen to me talk about my feelings like a, a puppy on a raft out in the ocean. Ah, uh, poor little guy. Yeah, I certainly don't need friends in my life to have a good time. If I want to talk about my feelings, which I don't, I'll just scream into my pillow until my throat is raw and sore like a normal, mentally healthy person. But maybe you get lonely. Uh, maybe you want to paint and sip. Whatever that means. With a friend. But you don't have any who will do that with you. Or whatever it is you want to do. So you need to find a friend. But how do you do that, you ask? Well, I'll tell you. In this video, right after I've done this sentence. Assuming that this sentence ever actually ends. Which it probably does, but if there's one thing we've learned at this point, it's that TechTweeb sentences can run on for a pretty long time. It can take many twists and turns, like that one time that I was talking about playing Sega Genesis games on the Miu Mini, but I got distracted and started talking about when I went to the grocery store to buy some root beer, but they were out of root beer, and I demanded to speak to the manager, and he was all like, y yeah, we're, we're out, sorry. Would you like something else instead? Some Dr. Pepper, maybe? And I started shouting and calling him a Dr. Pepper shill, and they had to get a few of their cashiers to drag me out of the store, and now I'm banned from the store, and have to get my neighbor to go buy me root beer, and he's always like, What? You want more root beer? I just bought you, like, four cases a few days ago. How, how much freaking root beer do you drink, man? And I can't help but thinking, Golly, I really wish I had a friend to help me out of this difficult time. Oh, look at that. We came full circle. <laughs> That's convenient. Well, don't worry about your friend situation. Or lack of friend situation. Because I'm here to help you out. I have a few good tips on making friends that I think will help you out big time. And if they don't, well, you probably didn't do them good enough. Or you're just so unlikable that there's no hope for you. It's certainly not because my advice is total worthless garbage. That's not even in the realm of possibilities. My first tip is to start a conversation. Making friends as an adult is way different than it was when we were kids. When we were kids, we looked at other kids who were about the same size as us and... Well, that, that, that's about it. That was our criteria. We were, we were friends then. No talking needed. But making friends as adults is different. Adults want to talk. All the freaking time. They want to talk about their day, talk about the weather, talk about their hopes and dreams and ambitions, talk about their family, uh, that sort of garbage. Some adults will talk to you just like out of the blue. You'll be, you'll be walking down the road and they'll be like, Hi there, Be a beautiful weather we're having, isn't it? And your first reaction might be to pull up your hood and hide your face and pretend that you didn't hear them. But here's the thing. That guy, that guy who, who talked to you, he was doing something called starting a conversation. That guy is trying to make friends. 
And it didn't work on you. You don't want anything to do with that guy in his weather conversation. But maybe the next person he asked that boring ass weather question to would say, Oh yeah, it's beautiful. Hey, what's your favorite D&D &D &D class? And then boom, those guys are friends now. Playing Dungeons and Dragons every week on Monday nights because that's the only day that Susan can play because she gets home early on Monday nights because her kids go to their grandma's that day. So if you want friends, not only do you have to be willing to talk to people who talk to you, you actually have to talk to people grown up people on your own. So like, start talking to people. Start up conversations. It's not that hard. Just walk around town and go up to random grown ups and say things like, nice weather we're having, eh? And isn't it a beautiful day today? And wow, the weather has been really crazy lately, huh? And this weather sure is something. Weather stuff. Grown ups love talking about weather stuff. I know you want to dive right into talking about retro games and GPUs, but trust me, you need to ease into it. I suggest waiting at least 15 seconds into a conversation before you blurt out that your favorite Game Boy game is Burger Time, or asking them if they'll trade Pokemon with you. My next tip is sorta of similar to the last one, but also not sorta of similar because it's sorta of different. Showing interest. Now, I know you probably don't really care what people have to say, especially if they're not your friend yet. After all, why should you give them anything before they've given you hours of their time listening to you explain why the latest Nvidia GPU is inferior to the latest AMD GPU even though it has RTX features? But having friends requires sacrifice. You'll have to listen to potential friends talk about all sorts of boring crap. They'll tell you about their mortgages and mutual funds, uh, what, whatever those things are. They'll tell you about their cars, their cat, their coffee makers, their opinions on the price of stamps. And while, yes, you'd rather gouge your eyes out than listen to that for one more second, this is all part of the game, the making friends game. Potential friends want you to be interested in what they have to say, even if it's the least interesting thing you've ever heard. So I suggest you develop some coping strategies for talking to people who want to tell you things you don't care about. You can smile and nod, add in the occasional, I see. And after they've filled the air with words for the last few minutes and look at you expectedly for your reaction to who knows whatever the heck they were talking about because you were thinking about Crusader Kings, just say, that's interesting. With any luck, they'll continue talking and be happy that you showed interest in what they had to say, even though you literally hated every second of listening to it. My next tip is to smile. L like this. Uh, are we friends yet? And my final tip is to do them a small favor. Everyone likes when someone does something for them because we're all lazy and selfish. So if I go up to someone and I'm like, hey, you seem like a cool girl, want to be my friend? She'll probably say, what? Why are you talking to me with food in your mouth? You just spit chip crumbs in my coffee. Get out of my face, weirdo. But what if instead I went up to her like, hi, uh, can I cut your lawn for you for free? She'll be like, oh yeah, I hate cutting the lawn. You could totally cut my lawn. And maybe when you're done, we could play Smash TV on Super Nintendo. And then boom, I have a friend. And all I had to do was offer a small favor to make them realize that my friendship is a lot less worthless than it seems at first. It's worth at least a lawn cutting. It's basically bribery when you think about it. Uh, some of us, like you probably, are so unlikable that we have to do lots of extra stuff to get people to like us back. You can offer to cut their lawn, shovel their snow if you live in Canada, shovel their uh, dirt if, if you live in like California or something, wash their car, wash their bike, wash their Pokeball, download more RAM for their computer, beat the hard part at the level they're stuck on. Whatever you can do, really, to help someone out. They'll be in your debt, which means they'll be more likely to be your friend out of guilt. These are some pretty good tips for making friends. Great tips, actually. You're welcome, by the way. But I want to make one final point, and it's about what you shouldn't do to make friends. I'm a weirdo, as you might have noticed. I don't talk like most people, I don't smell like most people, and I certainly don't act like most people. And for a long time, most of my life actually, I, I tried to hide who I was. I take the real me and push him down deep inside so that he couldn't embarrass me anymore. I tried to act like a regular normal person so that I'd fit in, so that I could make friends with other normal people, so that, so that I could just blend in and, and fit in because that's what I thought I wanted. But I've realized now what a, a huge mistake that was. Yeah, I made some friends, but they weren't the kind of friend I wanted. They didn't care about my retro handheld emulation devices. They didn't have a preference between an AMD and NVIDIA GPUs. They didn't even have a favorite Ninja Turtle for crying out loud. When you try to fit in, when you change who you are to fit in, yes, you might fit in and be part of the in crowd, but if you do that, you'll probably feel like more of an outcast than ever. 
I don't hide my weirdness now. I I'm a dweeb. Love me or hate me, that's who I am. And I'd rather go through life with only a few select friends than to have a whole social network of boring people I don't want to hang out with or talk to. And who are constantly looking at me like I've hurt their pride whenever I let my dorkiness slip out. And there's a bonus upside to being yourself, actually. It scares away anyone who won't tolerate you. It, it shows the thugs and the bullies for who they are, and it calls out your fellow dweebs, those who will relate to you, those who will appreciate you, those who will trade Pokemon with you, or help you get past Red Wolf of Radagon, or run a D&D one-shot for your birthday. I'm not saying don't change. We can all do with some change. <laughs> we all have things about ourselves we need to work on. You, sh you should probably brush your teeth if you don't do that, for instance. Do those things. Be a better person. But don't let your real self get lost along the way. What makes you special might be exactly what your new best friend loves about you. And that brings us to the end. If you want more advice on stuff, life stuff, making friends, making enemies, <laughs> making cookies, whatever. Uh, just let me know if I can help you out with my vast wisdom in the comments below. And if you'd like to make some friends of the dweeby persuasion, uh, consider stopping by my Discord server. Lots of cool, smart weirdos over there to dork out with, including me. And if you're my friend, then click the thumbs up button, buddy, because that's what friends do. Uh, that's it for me. I'm Tech Dweeb. Thanks for watching. Bye bye Oh wow, it's a it's a snitch. I gotta get it. I gotta be the, the, the snitch getter. Here I go. Yeah, that's why I'm talking. Oh, oh, I did it. I did it. Get it. Okay. I gotta get it this time. Here. Oh, it, it, it's gone. <laughs> uh, never mind.